Hello folks, it's David here, reporting for IMC News and RSE. I'm here this week in Jordan to gauge the general climate, uh, the attitude towards Israel and everything that's going on here in the Middle East with uh, current events. So I'm just going to uh, just gauge the climate and also I heard that there's a, uh, an Israeli flag is being used in a government trade complex up in uh, the capital city, Amman. It's being used as a doormat, the Israeli flag, which is a little concerning. So I'm going to go and check that out and see if it's actually true. I think uh, what it is here, I've seen that there's a few that are a little concerned about Donald Trump's peace deal and what that may entail for the Palestinian people and whether it means that some will be moved into Egypt, for example, and relocated out of Israel. So that's one thing. Um, I mean, as soon as I got here, I was uh, speaking to a young guy who lives in Jordan, and he, you know, he his words were quite strong. I mean, he, he even said that if he met someone with an Israeli passport, he would want to kill them, and that his religion justifies that. So that's one of the, you know more of the extreme mentality I've seen and uh, he even said that there's a prophecy in Islam that the uh, Israel will be destroyed in the year 2022 so quite shocking words really of course he's saying that it's Palestine's land that has been stolen and the same kind of thing that we hear from Gaza and other places Okay, so we're just heading into the city centre of a man here in Jordan and uh, just going to have a look in the Professional Engineers Syndicate to see if we can spot this Israeli flag being used as a doormat in this government institution. Unbelievable, isn't it? Right at the entrance of this professional trades complex, you have the Israeli flag being used as a doormat. Even with the footprints on it, you've got all these high-end professionals in uh, different industries just walking over the Israeli flag as an insult. And the thing is, you have to point out that this is not everyone in Jordan, you know, there's there's people in Jordan that wouldn't agree with this. You know, I've been felt very welcomed here, many good people and nice people, but there is that underlying pain, I suppose you could say, that underlying deep wound um, that has been left on both sides of the fence with many of the political things that have gone on. and. Um, so, but we know as believers that only Jesus Christ can heal those wounds. Only the Prince of Peace, Jesus of Nazareth, can heal those wounds and those pains that are so deep. And I've seen it happen. I've seen people completely transformed. So it is a little concerning here uh, with this hostility that we see across uh, many places surrounding Israel, uh, the hostility towards them as a nation and uh, the anti-semitism uh, towards the Jewish people across the world and so this is another example of of that um, you know we've seen many rockets flying over from Gaza in the last uh, even the last week and uh, so we just see this uh, hostility and strife 
and we just uh, hope and pray that many will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ who is the true pr uh, Prince of Peace and he can heal these roots of bitterness and this, this uh, pain that is within people and uh, so we pray for the protection of Israel and uh, against terrorism and all these bad things and again we pray for them to come to know the Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. From here in Amman, Jordan, I'm David, pointing for IMC News and RSE. God bless you and thanks for watching.